Let's just say it was an experience. Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, um, over 90 subscribers now? Hello? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so many things have been happening and I will probably get to that into in another video. But today I would like to talk about my experience learning poor butterfly. <laughs> and I want you to keep in mind that I have been wanting to make this video for a really long time, but the natural delays of the semester left me not having enough time to really do anything. But as I progressed learning this transcription, I took some short videos and stuff of my progress and it's a lot. <laughs> so it all started in July, <laughs> I was sight reading one day just for fun, and Poor Butterfly by Cannonball Adderley came up. And it was just the transcription of the solo. And so I was like, okay, this is cool, I like it. So, I sight read it, and luckily I actually caught it on film. <laughs> So that was cool, I posted it and it was fun, and my dad said, hey, that's pretty cool, um, what chart is that? And I said, you know, I don't know. <laughs> then he goes, you don't know? And I was like, okay. So I go, I look it up, poor butterfly, and I was like, all right, cool. Was not planning on pursuing it further, but I listened to it another time and I said, you know what, I think this would be a cool little project for me. <laughs> Keyword, little, so I thought. <laughs> I started learning it, you know, um, taking it super slow and just trying to get it under my fingers as much as I can. And there was a point where I was getting extremely frustrated with it. I can't exactly pinpoint what was wrong, but I was not happy with my playing at all. <laughs> And so I was really frustrated, and me being really stubborn, <laughs> I said, you know what, I'm just gonna keep going until I get it. Of course, um, I rage quitted, <laughs> and there would be times where I had to, literally, I had to stop practicing for the entire day. Just, I don't know, I, I guess I just felt like I'm better than this, I guess. And so, um, part of that frustration was my... Um, horn at the time just giving me limitations and not being able to um, perform at the skill level that I actually have. And the limitations of that horn came to light one night. I was, of course, practicing Poor Butterfly and there was a, a note. There was a note that I hit and I stopped and I said, gross. <laughs> And 
so because of that, I kind of um, collapsed on my floor, quite literally. So I'm going to be ranting for the next, I don't know how long, because um, I'm on my floor and I can't get up. <laughs> and I kind of just reflected for a bit. I've been playing it with like anger, passionate anger, and just aggression. So um, I was determined <laughs> when I first started, and I just, the more I played, the more discouraged I got. And so I took a breather, I drank some water, you know, calmed down, then I went back to it. But still, it just wasn't sounding good. So yet again, out of frustration, I stopped um, practicing for that whole day or remainder of the day. I think it was at night when I had that um, reflection. But um, maybe maybe a day or two later, I came back to it and honestly, it didn't sound that bad. <laughs> days passed by and I said okay maybe I'm not bad <laughs> and I was actually having fun with it <laughs> So that was probably the peak of my practice session with Poor Butterfly. And then right after that, poof, I did not touch it because <laughs> the school year started, you know, virtual classes with college was a disaster. <laughs> it was crazy. It was genuinely crazy, probably the busiest time of my entire life thus far. And so I kind of forgot about Poor Butterfly for a really long time. And then my new saxophone came. Ah yes, the dream, the Eastman 850. <laughs> and the journey of me getting that horn is a whole video in itself, but let's just say I was very patient. For it. But in the past couple of weeks, I have revisited Poor Butterfly, and let me just say, the first time I actually played Poor Butterfly, I was in tears. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm crying. <laughs> so I've been practicing with my brand new horn, and uh, these are tears of joy because. Um, The sound that I'm producing now <laughs> with this horn, it's its incredible. It's like zero to a hundred <laughs> kind of deal. And um, I always said that once I get my new horn, like people will finally take me seriously. Because <laughs> um, as a woman in the jazz community, it's just like that much harder <laughs> to be accepted and taken seriously. So now... I'm finally at a place where, you know, my voice can be heard. So, I'm just really grateful. Okay, you can continue with your day now. Thank you for listening. <laughs> it was just such, it was such an emotional moment for me. And even now it still means a lot. But it's really funny how um, a few months ago, I would look at Poor Butterfly and I would think this is the worst chart ever and it caused me so much stress <laughs> and pain, but now I look at it and it's something fun to play now. So without further ado, <laughs> 
please enjoy the final rendition of me playing Cannonball Adderley solo in Poor Butterfly. Well, actually, I forgot to say, click that like button there and subscribe. Ow. Subscribe to me if you haven't yet. Have a good day. Make choices, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>